Hey folks, welcome to Open Source Options. In this tutorial, I'm going to show you how you can install PDAL with Anaconda. Now, PDAL, you may know of GDAL. PDAL is like GDAL, but for uh, point clouds, so point data. And with PDAL, you're able to do things like thin point clouds, classify point clouds, um, extract, filter out ground points, and then convert, uh, uh, sorry, convert a point cloud into a terrain model, like a DEM. Uh, so this is going to be the first in at least two tutorials. This one's going to show you how to install PDAL with Anaconda, and then the next one will cover how you can make uh, a digital terrain model, or a DEM, of the bare earth using PDAL. So let's go ahead and get started with the installation. Now, you're going to need to have Anaconda installed to follow along with this, and I'm using Anaconda because it's a good Python distribution that makes it easy to download a lot of packages, and it's available on Windows, Linux, and Mac. So I'm going to open up my Anaconda prompt. I do that by going here and typing Anaconda. When the prompt comes up, I'll open this up here. Okay, so right now I'm using my base environment. It's recommended you do not install PDAL on the base environment. You want to create another environment or use an existing environment. So I'll show you how I do this. I'm going to create a new environment for PDAL. And so I'm going to do conda uh, create-n to give it the name. And we're going to call this PDAL Pi. And I'm going to do Python equals 3.9 um, to give it Python version 3.9. So when I do this, it's going to create uh, a PDAL PY environment for me. Let's go ahead and run this. It's going to take just a sec for this to happen. I'm going to say yes to all this to install these new packages. And it's going to take just a minute for all this to execute. Okay, and there we go. We now have it activated. We now have it created. Now you can see here to activate it, I need to type conda activate PDAL PY. So we'll do that. Conda activate PDAL PY. All right, and now you can see that instead of saying base over here on the left side of my command line, it now says PDAL PY. So let's clear this out. So we have a, a new blank screen here. And all I need to do to install PDAL is one line of code. So I'm going to type conda install. I need to specify the channel. It's going to be conda forge. And we're going to do Python dash PDAL. Okay, so let's go ahead and click enter here. And this is going to install it. Now while this is installing, uh, let's talk a little more about PDAL. This is a C++ library, but it does have Python bi bindings. Okay, now I'm going to go ahead and just click hit yes here to install all these things. And so PDAL is a C++ library with Python bindings. Um, it comes like as an executable, and then the Python binding is going to be installed. And so once this gets installed, we'll just run the executable to ensure that it's installed correctly. And we're going to leave it at that for this tutorial. So this will help you get PDAL installed. And then coming up in another tutorial, um, we'll go through how to use PDAL a little bit. Now, I just want to note before I show you how to test this, that the code, all these commands I'm entering, how to set up an environment, where to find PDAL, all those things, I have it included on my website, and I'll include a link down below. So if you just want to copy and paste those commands, you can do it. Okay, so I've installed that. Now what should happen is if I type PDAL and hit enter, you can see here that I get the PDAL help. I have the options, um, different commands here, and I have these commands also that apply directly to point clouds. So you can see that we've been we've installed this uh, correctly, and coming up in a future tu future tutorial, we'll go through how we can use this a little bit to work with point clouds. Now, if you're interested on how to get point cloud data, go back and check a couple of my previous videos. I have one for how to download point cloud data from the USGS for the United, in the United States. And I have another one with QGIS for how you can display and visualize point cloud data. Thanks for watching. Hope this video is helpful and stay tuned for more on point clouds.